you guys and welcome back to the channel today we are going to be talking about the internet sensation okay hold me down lace glue don't mind my baby in the background she want to be in the video she want to be in the video okay we got to get this done honey so i'm going to show you guys how i installed this wig this is a reinstall this is the true glory virgin brazilian wig that they sent to me and I kind of felt like I wanted to try it with the glue instead of the glueless application. So I went ahead and I reinstalled her. And honey, honey, she is giving me all the scalp. All right. So another YouTuber right here on YouTube came out with some bomb products. Okay, you guys. And every time she restocks, it sells out. So when she restocked, Last time I went ahead and I picked up whatever was left on the website because honey, it was gone. It was almost gone. It was gone. It was gone. Okay. So I did get the three things that are like crucial for your install and I'm going to demonstrate those to you. These are the products from hair by Erica J right here on YouTube. I'll list her channel down below as well as the products and where to get them because honey, this wig, this is my second install with these products. I had to try the stuff before I came in, you know, gave you guys the tea. I had to try it, all right? So we're going to jump into the demo. I'm going to give you guys the rundown and my final thoughts at the end of the video. Let's get it. Okay, so this we have here is the skin guard. We are just spraying that down. You don't need to... You know use that machine because it dries fast and I'm laying down the glue that little tool is a godsend it is a godsend you need one I know it looks really white it's white but it's not as white as you're seeing because my lights are really bright and I'm just going ahead and smoothing that down as best I can. I did put on a little bit too much. So that's why I'm not going to do as many layers. It's drying down fast in real time. I just wanted to show you guys clips of me installing. So you can see how fast the glue dries. I don't need that fan at all. So now we are going to lay our lace slightly above the glue if that makes sense I hope it makes sense and I kind of did you know across my forehead and I did the ear tabs last so that it will be easier for me not quite there yet with the full across the head and ear tabs yet so I'm going ahead and I'm just putting a drop 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 you only need like a dab I'm using too much product right here you only need a dab and I want to smooth that out in a nice thin layer because it says look, 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 too much, way too much. But it still came out nice. The look still came out real nice. So once I have that laid down and thinned out, I did two layers, two, yeah, I did two layers on each side. So I just wanted to show you one side so you'll get the gist of what's going on here. Alright, so after this is laid down, and you know what I noticed about this glue guys? It doesn't, even if you lay it down when it's a little white, y'all saw it there, it doesn't mess up. So I just pulled my hair back here and I'm pulling out whatever hair got caught, my little baby hairs. And I'm going to apply a touch of the Ruby Kisses because this is not an HD lace. It's a Swiss lace. It's a light brown Swiss lace. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of that. Go into my foam wrap. This process works easy for me because I'm not like the wig slayer air. But <laughs> it works easy for me. Now once I get that all laid down and what I liked about it is that the lace did not start lifting because I dried it like it did not start moving around or lifting at all so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna blow dry 
for maybe 10 15 minutes if you don't have a hood dryer you want to make sure you blow dry 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 so you can get that melt 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 okay and once I do that I'm gonna come in and give you my final thoughts on everything so yeah okay you guys so let's go ahead and talk about like is there any smell how was it to work with it for the first time because y'all know i don't told you i'm not really keen on you know glue installations so i followed her video to a t as i told you guys already i followed her video to a t when it comes down to the ball cap method I did have some little hiccups and some little faux pas because I'm not really a glue adhesive girl, but that's okay. That's all right. And I used the skin guard first after my, you know, ball cap was done and all that good stuff, as you saw. And I like it. I like the fact that it does not have like a chemical smell to it, you guys. It does not have a chemical smell at all. It smells fresh and fruity. That's what it smells like to me. I don't know exactly what fruit that is that I'm smelling, but it smells fresh and fruity. It smells good. It doesn't smell like a chemical. It doesn't smell like, you know, hair products. This is bomb, okay? This is bomb. This is the skin guard, and it's light. It doesn't feel like it's heavy and weighing you down. It doesn't get tight and dry your skin out how the hairsprays do. I like it. I like it a lot okay now let's talk about the glue honey this glue baby sister mother cousin daughter this glue is the bees knees yeah I have my little hiccup with the glue you know sp spreading out too much or whatever but that's the good part about it if you are a beginner with lace frontals and wig installs and things like that and Swiss lays and HD lays and this kind of lays and that kind of lays. If you are a beginner, this is really good for you because you can mess up. You can make a mistake and fix it like right away. You saw me wipe too much, <laughs> wipe some of the glue off. It was a little too much. I wiped it off and my skin doesn't feel sticky. I didn't have an issue with wiping it away before it dries now i didn't have an issue or none of that like i am super pleased with this glue as soon as you put the material on it i was able to move the lace black back because it's stuck in the wrong place sister okay it's stuck in the wrong place but i was able to move it back and then reapply again that is a plus for somebody that doesn't know like it's not a pro at slaying lace you know what i'm saying make me look like i'm one though and I also like the fact that it dries really, really fast. It dries super fast. Super fast, you guys. Like, I want to say 30 to 60 seconds. That's how fast it dries down. It doesn't dry so that you can't use it. It dries down so that you can go to the next layer. I only use two layers because I'm not going to keep this wig in for a very long time. But she feels secure. Sis, my wig is attached. She's not going anywhere, baby. Nowhere. She is here, honey. She's here. Okay? She's here. My first install I did was on Facebook live stream, and I had that wig on for two days. I used the um, laid off adhesive to take it off. No foul odors. Not oily. I mean, it took it right off. It took the glue, the adhesive right off. And if I had like a little remainder of glue on my scalp or my skin, I had all I had to do was go in with a wet towel and rub the glue off. It came right off. I don't know what type of magic is in this glue, sister, but sister has a winner, okay, with these products. Because I was using Ghost Bond and Ghost Bond did not come right off like that. You had some problems. That's why I didn't like lace glue applications. Because it was sticky icky. Okay? But this is not that. This is not that. This is not that at all. And I am very pleased with it. Okay? So she gets a thousand percent from me, honey. Okay? And we're going to keep on purchasing. And I can't wait till she get the, 
the rest of her stuff back in stock so, because there is some foam that she has that I want to try. Now that I've tried those three products, I'm really amped to get the rest of them. Really amped. Okay. So that is it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the install. I am pretty, pretty pleased. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button before you leave. And don't forget to like the video. All right. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.